Hello again, mate squad. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that this finds you in good spirits. Um, I hope the lighting is okay. Um, mini me used my ring light and I can't find the thing to hook up my phone to. So I'm using my old setup. So like I said, I hope you guys can see. I hope it's enough lighting. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so, um, what I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and use a Sacha Buttercup to, uh, what am I trying to say, <laughs> for my powder today. Um, I just want to do a quick public service announcement. Um, you know, I really do want this to be a very positive channel. Um, there's just too much negativity and just so much nastiness and muck going on in the world that I want you guys have a place where you can come and um, get inspired, get motivated, you know, feel good about yourself to put your best foot forward each day. I'm going to use these two products, which is Motives and the um, highlighter from the crayon case in the color 28. I really quick I want to comment on the crayon case and the products that I that I purchased from them. Um, so I don't feel like these products are oil, oily skin friendly. Um, you have to use them in a certain ways so they'll work for you. Like the chalk dust does not keep your oil at bay. Like it's not a great setting powder for oily skin. Like within an hour, hour and a half, I'm already starting to see my oil peek through. So yeah um and then also the highlighters so if i use the highlighter and i use this with it there is cre my eyeshadow creases every time my under eye creases every time so they are not great together to me in my opinion for my skin and the way it works so i've been using the highlighters with the sasha buttercup and that sets it i don't have any problems um, and I can go about my day without worrying about any creasing on my eye, especially my eyeshadows. That's really crazy. Now, um, I do, I have used a chalk dust with LA Girl Pro Conceal, and it's done really well. So it's like using the crayon cases products together. It's just it's 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 not it's not what's up for my skin. So I just want to put that out there. If anybody has oily skin, just beware. I don't think that this product is going to work best for you. Um, I feel like you have to wear them separate. So I'm going to create a neutral look, like I said, to give you guys an idea of like how this palette, you know, works if you're wanting to do neutral colors. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. Okay, and then for my next two shades, I'm going to use uh, these colors right here. All right, so I just um, kept adding uh, more color until I built I built up the color uh, to where I wanted it to be. Um, just blend, blend, blend. I know I'm not including this in the video, but all I'm doing is just blending, and that's how I get um, the look that I'm going for to get you know that smooth transition. So I'm going in with the dark brown right here, and we're just gonna add that to the uh, outer part of the eye, and kind of blend it into the crease area. Okay, and now I'm going to take the brush that we use to apply that kind of um, mauve color, and I'm going to use that to blend out more of this dark brown on the eye. For any beginners out there, anyone who's just curious on which type of brushes to use, um, if you use fluffy brushes, to apply your eyeshadow, it's going to give you like this soft kind of look. If you are going for big boom pow dramatic, then you would need to use a more dense brush. So kind of like pencil brushes like these and any other um, 
denser material brushes because they'll they'll be able to really pack on the color and then you would use a fluffy brush to blend out so that's just a few tips um, in case anyone is wondering because I am going more for a softer look so that's why I use the fluffy brushes to apply my um to apply all the eyeshadows today okay and now we're going to cut our crease if you don't want to cut your crease you don't have to um you know you can just go ahead and apply uh, the eyeshadow directly on there but I am gonna go I'm gonna amp it up a little bit and go ahead and do that I'm just gonna do half cut crease all right now we're gonna set the cut crease with this white shade right here and then we're also gonna add this shade uh, back to the eyelid as well Okay, so I didn't, actually I didn't like the way the white was applying that white eyeshadow from the matte book. So I went in with the resolution uh, palette and I used the white um, shade out of here. And then that's, I was able to get an actual white payoff on the eyelid. <laughs> so um, now I'm going to go ahead and do my face. I'm going to prime, I'm still using the infallible matte lock and then the... Um, Super Stay by Maybelline. So I'm still using the drugstore brands for my face. Okay, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to go in with the crayon case highlighter in the shade. I don't know. Which way am I supposed to do this? This way? I think it's backwards. The eight. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like the reverse, but I, my brain can't think about which way to hold it. Anyway, so I've been just directly ap applying the concealer onto the face, but it does get... Um, messy like it's all over the applicator so as I said before when I tried these out you probably want to use a brush apply it to the brush and then put it on your face so since I don't color correct that's why I use the concealer um, for to hide you know to cover the acne scarring It just saves time. Like if I had time to really sit down and do my makeup, I would color correct first. But most days, as you know, I'm on, I'm trying to go. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender to try to take off um, as much excess product as I can. Um, I'm actually gonna use a makeup sponge too, just to make sure I get as much as I can. Because that's what can cause creasing as well, besides the product itself. If you have like a really great product, but you use too much of it, it can cause creasing and caking because you're just leaving that product just sitting on the skin. And it's not adhering to it, it's not absorbing, it's just sitting there. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I did a few things off camera. I added eyeliner, I did put some... Um, shadows the brown the light brown and underneath my um lower eyelids and of course i did my brows and now i'm going to use this color here from nyx which is i think it's aqua green yes yeah, aqua green green i'm going to put that in my waterline all right and for my lashes today i'm going to be using these for a makeup for melanin there i go i tried to try to push through it melanin girls <laughs> and um i had serena before but i ordered kiki and i still just love this packaging like the artist i follow her on instagram i mean she's amazing like i just, I just love this packaging um yeah so anyway these are the lashes right here so i'm going to go ahead and apply those um and I will be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my wig before we finish with everything. Because we're almost done. Just got to do the lippy and the highlight. Just... 
All right, guys, I don't know how much memory I have left on here, but I wanted to just show you really quick my completed look. I hope you like it. I really want to add some glitter, but I'm chilling out. I'm not going to touch the glitter. Um, let me know if you ever recreate one of my looks. I love hearing um, you guys. If you purchased a wig I reviewed or if you recreate one of my looks or if you tried out a product um, that I'm wearing, I would love to hear your thoughts and reviews on it. Uh, so, yeah, let me hop off of here so I can get to work. I will see. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new watching my videos don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get a notification on when a new video is headed your way and you guys are wonderful you're awesome just know that you are enough and just keep pushing and achieving your goals and i will see you guys next time bye, bye.